Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make these caramel espresso martini cupcakes. Now before we get stuck into it, I did something stupid. I shaved before I did the video and I shaved it a little bit too low. I don't know what it looks like yet. I haven't seen the footage. I'm just filming this and hoping that it doesn't look hideous. So if my face looks different, that's why. Moving on to the recipe, these are perfect for celebrating the new year, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I asked you guys to tell me what your favorite part of 2016 was, even though there was a lot of crappy parts of that year. And I read them all, there were so many I couldn't reply to all of them, but I loved hearing them. Some of you came out, some of you uh, uh, finished school, some of you had kids, uh, there was a couple sad ones, but you know, I appreciate you guys sharing those. Um, now, espresso martini cupcakes, vanilla cake, we've got some Kahlua, which they dipped in, we've got a vodka chocolate sauce in the center, a swirl of buttercream on top with Kahlua in that, drizzle of salted caramel sauce on top, finish off with two little cute coffee beans. These are the ingredients you need to make them. Okay guys, so start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The ingredients you're going to need are some eggs, sugar, chocolate sauce, recipe for that can be found on my website, flour, milk, salted caramel sauce, softened butter, I've got a cute little bottle of vodka here, and some Kahlua. You're going to need some oil, baking powder, Greek yogurt, and you'll need some vanilla. And guys, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload two new videos a week. We're gonna pop all of our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl. Mix those on low speed until everything's well combined. Then you can add the butter and mix until you reach a crumbly, sand-like texture. While that's mixing, add your milk to a large jug, along with your oil, eggs, Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, and whisk those up. You're going to add your wet to your dry ingredients in a slow and steady stream. Once it's all in there, you can stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl, just to make sure those bits at the bottom get mixed in properly. Then you can mix for a final 20 seconds. You can line your cupcake tin with some cupcake liners. We're going to fill these up with some butter three quarters of the way. Once you fill them up, you can pop them into the oven for about 20 minutes. Then you can transfer them to a cooling rack to cool down completely before you frost them. While your cupcakes are baking, add that vodka to your chocolate sauce, give it a good mix and set it aside. You want to add the Kahlua to your buttercream frosting, mix it and you can set that aside as well. Our cupcakes baked beautifully, we're going to dip them into that Kahlua, let it drain a little bit. You're going to core the center of your cupcakes and fill it up with that vodka chocolate sauce. I'm using a Wilton 1M tip to frost my cupcakes in a swirl before I drizzle them with a good amount of salty caramel sauce. And we're going to finish these off with two cute little coffee beans. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my caramel espresso martini cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the Scran Line 2016. I'm super excited for 2017. I've got some ideas of what I want to do. Hopefully I can do them. Uh, now, a quick update. Calendars have arrived. They've been printed. They will be sent out first thing Monday. I've had a couple of you asking, when are they coming, Nick? They'll be sent out first thing Monday and they should take maximum 10 days to arrive. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the box below. If you haven't ordered yours, order it. There's still some left. You're going to find the recipe for these cupcakes on my website, thescranline.com. Link for that is in the box below. I've got two videos over there for you guys to watch. So click on those for more deliciousness. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all on next year's The Scranline.